Mm-hmm. You're going to travel to 30 countries. Mm-hmm. And it's only going to cost $5,800. Where the hell are you going for $5,800? <laughs> Get the camera. It's Mari there. Enjoy. <laughs> All right. We're going to do like a. We're going to change it up a little bit. Do like. If you want to travel for a year, how really can you achieve it? Mm -hmm. And so that's the same question we ask ourselves or we debate about ourselves. <laughs> exactly. And so we were like, let's really talk to you about that how we look at it as well so pretty much this video is how to travel for a year the financial side of it part one and i say part one because that's what we're dealing with right now on, on the prior video we kind of spoke about the phone plan anyway to go with google Fi, it can be as low as twenty dollars a month so twenty dollars times 12 every month is 240 dollars mm -hmm. so, so you know what that means yeah that's what you need to say that's what you need to save and put it to the side. Mm -hmm. At least you know that much is already designated for. Mm -hmm. And you know, you you can get it one paycheck. Like one paycheck well, yeah, and put it to the side. Well, yeah, but people have bills to pay. I, school, okay, so. if not, I'm just saying you could, if you can't, save up for it slowly. Mm -hmm. That's true. Next thing that we had to figure out was the our travel insurance. That's important because like we said last time, well, that's important. Because you don't want to get injured outside the country and you're screwed. So we decided to go with Safety Wing. And there are there the price is $37 a month, mm -hmm. which is great. But keep in mind, it's not only about the price that's keeping us in. It covers you for baggages and and so much more of this stuff. I can't think of it that <laughs> what it does exclude it covers everything else except these things it doesn't cover electronics which is fine because we're going to try to keep our electronics on us mm -hmm. we're not going to put mm -hmm. it in the in check-in at all mm -hmm. we that's the last thing we're going to do so that's why we're like okay we're fine with that one and the other thing that they don't cover for is like ex like ad 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 adventures that are very risky like extremely risky like rock climbing or jumping out of a plane. Well, I don't, I don't know. You know what? I have to go look at the list to be 100% sure. But I think they did say K, um, cage diving with sharks or something like that. Mm. Something like that. But for sure, for sure, I know rock climbing. We need to look at the list. safety wing it is $37 a month and times it by 12 mm -hmm. it's 444 so put that money to the side so if you add up the 240 and the 444 it is 684 and a part of it makes you feel at least you've covered the some of the basics like mm -hmm. the most important basics so you feel like okay I can do this yeah. you know mm -hmm. and I think as you start chipping at the money like that this thing can seem very much achievable if you don't start looking at the finances directly it can scare you it can seem like just overwhelming like a mountain you can't get over it's true and i think that's what we're slowly going up that's how we're slowly going about it so we can feel comfortable we can do this and that's why we say we're going to try to travel for as long as we can anything else you would say mm -hmm. but and we say this is part one because this is where we are at so far. Whenever we get to this next part of the money aspect, we will definitely share it with you. And we'll even do like a, cause I did like a quick overview, like mm -hmm. overview of flights to go, flight to every single country, all those 30 countries. And this was 
yes, it was a little, it wasn't a hundred percent accurate because of the months. Not all of it was showing, but overall, to fly to every place, even though we may not fly to every place, and we added a fifteen percent margin, and we added a margin of error, it came up to be almost fifty eight hundred dollars to fly everywhere, and it's like. If you've been planning, I know the number may sound big, but if you know what it is that you're planning for and we've been planning for it, you're like, oh my gosh, $5,000? It sounds crazy, but if you think about 30 countries for as long as you can, we're not, it's not, it, it seems achievable. Like I said, for you to plan it, you plan for yourself one country. And I think that makes it, the number will be way smaller and you can see it's achievable. Then when you see that one country and you're like, okay, got it. Then next you can add another one. If you look at ours directly, it'll seem like it's crazy, but just start with one country. What would you say? Yeah, just start with one country and, you know, see how that goes. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you can see if you can save up for this too. Mm -hmm. And accumulate that way. It's achievable. So that's our part one. On how to travel around the world and, and dealing with the finances. When you add yeah, email, but those numbers like where the hell are you going for fifty eight hundred dollars? How how are you going to go to three countries for fifty eight hundred dollars? What do you mean how? Three you're going to travel to thirty countries, mm -hmm. and it's only going to cost fifty eight hundred dollars. That's for the flights. And there was a margin of, that was with a margin of error. I Googled it. I legit Googled it. That doesn't seem. Do I need to actually Google it again so no, you can I see? No, I want to get my ass in the bed. No, I know, but. But I'm just saying, that's, that doesn't. To go to here to India, they, sh they get you a ticket down to two grand. But that's the thing. You're looking at it as from here to India. If we're already in Europe, on that side, it's cheaper to fly from one country to the next. Yo, the only reason it looks so expensive is if you're looking at it from here. But if we're traveling next to the countries, just right there next to next, it's way cheaper. And if we ride a train, you know it's going to be way cheaper. You know, that's why you can, because the main, if I've noticed the ones that are the most expensive is from Canada to Ireland and Ireland to Europe, only because it's a longer distance. And I've noticed the one that's really expensive to travel is in Africa. It's expensive. But that's regarding, it's based on flights. I doubt we're going to be traveling with flights the entire time like that, you know? But I didn't care whether we're going to fly or what. Go put it in. Let me look at that number dead in my eyes. You know, because you have to see it. You have to be in reality with it. That's true. That's all. If there's any questions about these numbers, I do have an actual table of the breakdown of each country of how we kind of guessed it. Dates are a little off though, but regardless, I have it. If you do want to see it, I can put it up. But if you have any questions regarding anything or anything regarding a particular finance you want us to cover, let us know and we'll look it up and let you know. And keep in mind, this is our planning video when we travel it's gonna be completely different on how we're gonna it's gonna be straight vlog type it's gonna be different when we gonna be interacting with y'all okay thank you for watching <laughs> it's money that <laughs>